Yeah, I'd, I'd agree that uh, you don't change uh, a culture and you don't change faith uh, from the top down and it can't be imposed in that sort of way. You know, Jesus said those who live by the sword will die by the sword and his kingdom is not uh, from this world. Uh, therefore, that puts me in a tricky position being an, an, an Anglican and uh, if the bishop's watching, I'm sorry, but uh, uh, I wouldn't care at all if there were no bishops in the House of Lords. I, I really wouldn't. And it cuts both ways on that because uh, bishops are crown appointments and so there is that uh, mingling uh, between church and state here. Uh, but I would say that doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad thing uh, because, uh, as I said in answer to the previous question, there's no such thing as a neutral spirituality. Um, spirituality abhors a vacuum. You can't just get rid of Christianity from the upper echelons of the, the apparatus of state and think that you've now got neutrality. You haven't got neutrality, you've got something. You've got secular humanism, you've got religious pluralism, I don't know, you've got something. And I think uh, uh, if the, the bishops do go from the House of Lords, it will be an opportunity for Britain to take a good hard look at itself and say, what do we believe if we don't believe that? Uh, and I just pray that uh, the Christian churches can present and preach from the bottom up a vision that will capture the hearts of Great Britain again, uh, so that people do say, uh, yes, we do want Jesus Christ uh, to shape our public policy.